Buanga City Division, so Buanga City. Hello everyone, I am Mrs. Lolita Viepanto of Sambuanga National High School West. Welcome to Technology and Livelihood Education Grade 7. Discussing with you the lesson on dressmaking quarter two week three. Our topic for today is about read and record the required measurements. Our learning competency obtained measurements. Our learning objectives, one, read and record accurately the required body measurements, two, obtain accurate measurements. As you can see, there are two figures. What can you say about the figures? What is figure one and what is figure two? Great. Figure 1 is a measurement. Our figure 2 is a tool, which is a tape measure. There are two systems of measurement. One is English system and two is metric system. When we measure, we always start with a zero. The tape measure is the most important measuring tool in dressmaking. Figure 1 above shows the value or reading of each graduation of an inch. The 116 is the smallest value or reading of measurements on the tape measure, which is the distance between every line of the tape measure. English system. The units of distance, distance is also called length, is measured in the inches, feet, yard. 12 inches is equivalent to 1 foot, 3 feet is equivalent to 1 yard. Metric system. A metric system is the measurements that uses the meter as a base unit of length or distance. 1 centimeter equivalent to 10 millimeters or mm. 1 decimeter is equivalent to 10 cm or we call this cm. 1 meter equivalent to 100 cm or equivalent to cm. Here are some tips on how to read the tape measure. Number one, the top row of numbers is in the English system of measurements. Number two, the bottom row numbers are the metric system of measurements. Number three, the line that hits before one inch is one half of an inch. The blade indicates zero inches or centimeter. Number five, every number on the top represents the whole inch. Recording measurements. When recording a measurement, we include all of the digits plus a final estimated digit. Now, consider the next ruler. All non-zeros numbers are significant. Zeros between non-zero numbers are significant. Leading zeros before a number are not significant. Self-assessment question. How do we read and record the measurements? Great! The answer is, when recording a measurements, we include all known digits plus a final estimated digits. Self-assessment question number two, how can you obtain accurate measurements? Very good! The answer is, Start reading from zero of the tape measure to the desired measurement. Now, let us explore more. Our direction will be read and record accurately the measurement as pointed by the arrow. Number one. Great. 
answer is 3 inches. For number 2, Very good! The correct answer is 2 and 1 half inches. For number 3, Correct! The right answer is 2 cm. Number four. Great. The correct answer is four centimeters. For question number five. Answer is nine centimeters. Always remember this: some key points. The tape measure is the common, most important measuring tool in dressmaking. There are two common system of measurements in tape measure: an inch of the inlet system and centimeter of the metric system. In measuring, always starts with the zero mark. Let us try this. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each question. For number 1, what are the two systems of measurements? A. Meter and yard. B. Metric system. C. English and metric. D. English system. Great! The correct answer is letter C, English and Metric. For number two questions, how many lines or graduations are there in one centimeter? Letter A, 10. Letter B, 5. Letter C, 1. Letter D, 8. Very good! The correct answer is letter A, 10. For question number 3, how many centimeters are there in 1 inch? Letter A, 2 centimeter. B, 2.54 centimeter. Letter C, 1.5 cm, letter D, 10 mm. Great! The correct answer is 2. Point, letter B, 2.54 cm. For question number 4, what system of measurements is in circle graduation of the figure above? Letter A, metric system. Letter B, English system. Letter C, inches. Letter D, lines. Timer starts now. Very good. The correct answer is letter A, metric system. For question number 5, 
When recording measurements, we include all known digits plus a final estimated blank known, letter A, digit, letter B, significant, letter C, number, letter D, zero. The correct answer is letter A, digit. Number six, a figure A is a cross measurement of a client. What is the measurement? Letter A, one inch. Letter B, two and one half inches. Letter C, three inches. Letter D, two and seven eight inches. Timer starts now. Great. The correct answer is letter C, three inches. Now, for our question number 7, the figure B above is the measurement for the upper arm gear. How much is the upper arm gear measurements? A, 1 inch, B, 2.5 centimeter, letter C, 3.5 centimeter, letter D, 2 and 7 eight inches. Very good! The correct answer is 3.5 cm. For question number 8, the neck measures is shown above as figure C. Give the accurate reading of the neck measure. A. 2 inches B. 2 and 3 8 inches Letter C. 1 and 3 4 inches. Letter D, 2 centimeter. Great! The correct answer is letter A, 2 inches. For question number 9, figure D is the hem circumference of a pants. What is the measurements? Letter A, 7 cm. Letter B, 9 cm. Letter C, 10 cm. Letter D, 9 inches. Great! The correct answer is letter C, 10 cm. Now for our last question, number 10. The figure E above is the bus distance. What is the measurement reading for the bus distance? A, 2 inches, letter B, 1 and 1 fourth inches, letter C, 1 and 1 half inches, letter D, 1 and 3 fourth. Very good. The correct answer is 1 and 3 fourth inches. Thank you. See you around again. This is your teacher Lolita of Sambuanga National High School West.